everyone. This is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. It is a few days away from the last game of the season. Daniel Jones, Eli Manning, the Philadelphia Eagles. What a way to end a year. Um, with the year coming to an end, we need to start focusing on Next year, we need to start focusing on our team. We need to start focusing on who we're bringing in, who we're keeping, and who we're saving, uh, who we're re-signing. And one of the players that I want to talk about is is a very polarizing figure, and that's Leonard Williams. Came over in the trade um, with the Jets. We gave up a three and a five, potentially a three and a four, if we re-sign him. And the question is, you have a lot of fans that either love Leonard Williams or hate Leonard Williams. Thinks he's helping the defense, thinking thinks he's not worth the money. The problem is Leonard Williams wants Aaron Donald money. Is he worth it? Or is he even worth a facsimile of Aaron Donald money? So uh, what I was thinking, and just for fun, why don't we compare Aaron Donald to Leonard Williams? Now, Aaron Donald has been in the league one more year than Leonard. And, you know, so we're going to try to take that into consideration and the factor as well. But let's just take a cursory look of the two players. You know, you know, Aaron Donald is more of a stealthier player. He's only coming in at 280 against 302 to Leonard Williams. He is three years older than Leonard. You know, they're both uh, five. He, you know, Leonard Williams is in fifth season, Donald in his sixth but I, I think going through the tail of the tape is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. But the real diving into it is, let's take a look at the play. All right, Leonard and Aaron. Leonard has played in 78 games, Aaron in 93. So there is, you know, a 13-game difference going on there. Um, Leonard has 261 combined tackles of 310. You break that over, so he's not that far off. Um, his total tackles, or I should say his just tackles or individual tackles, that's that's a little bit of an interesting fact. Aaron is 217 to 134, which means that Aaron is making more open field plays, is making more plays where he is stuffing the tackle on himself or is the instigator of the tackle. Now, if you look at assists, I mean, Williams is at 127 to Aaron Donald's 93. But again, a lot of times I think what Williams is, is he's he's like what they refer to in the NFL as a pylon stat. He's a player that may not make the initial contact, but he's got a high motor and he's on the pile. You know, which, which is great to have, but, you know, is that something that you want to have you know, you're paying 14 to, you know, $20 million a year. Is that something that you want to have on your team at that price tag? Now, this is where we really get into the nitty gritty. If we take a look at sacks, Aaron Donald has 72 sacks to Leonard Williams, 17. Aaron Donald has 12 and a half sacks to, to Leonard Williams, zero. That to me is a telltale sign. They're both, you know, you know, Williams is playing the defensive end position technically, but Donald is playing the defensive tackle position, and Donald is getting more rush and more penetration than Leonard Williams. You know, that right there says a lot. You know, and a lot of people are like, well, you have to look at Leonard Williams for his hidden statistics. Well, you know what? Yeah, he's got more assists, but then Donald has more tackles. Donald destroys him in sacks, and that's what we need. We don't need a defensive end who almost gets to the quarterback. I, I jokingly made a comment the other day on one of our other posts that we should have a stat just for Leonard Williams, which refers to as the almost sack. Because literally, I mean, that's he he almost gets to the quarterback. You know, we don't need that. We need someone that can get to get us to the quarterback. And, you know, and, and Leonard Williams, you know, to me is not that player. And, and it's nothing against him, but that's just not what he is. One of the other statistics that I wanted to look at is what they refer to as the stuff statistic in the NFL. It's a little known statistic that a lot of people don't refer to. And it, it refers to when an offensive team is uh, 
uh, attempts to run up the middle or often, you know, or gets denied behind the line of scrimmage. Or it records, you know, it could also be in part of it into like a short yard situation where, you know, the, the team is stuffed behind the line. And most people don't know that that is a stat and it's a statistic that they have in reference to, the, you know, the number of stuffs and the yardage lost. This is where it's interesting. Yes, Aaron Donalds has one more season, but his stuff statistic lifetime is 63 stuffs for a for loss of 172 yards. Aaron Donald has 25 stuffs for a loss of 40 yards, which tells me, oh, I think I said that in reverse. I should say Leonard Williams has a stuff of 25 and 40, while Aaron Donald has a stuff of 63 and 172, which tells me that Aaron Donald is getting behind the line of scrimmage, is making the plays for the loss, is, is making those tackles. You know, and, and that's a stat you really kind of kind of look at. I mean, it, it, you know, what also really stands out for me is Aaron Donald's been to six Pro Bowls. You know, he's been pro, he's been all pro four times. Leonard Williams has been to one Pro Bowl. Okay. Leonard Williams wants $15 million a year, $16 million a year. I'm just not seeing it. People will sit there and tell you, well, statistically, our, off, our defense was better after the Williams trade. We were playing the run better. You know, and it's like, okay, show if that's really what you're thinking, I I don't understand why also if he's playing the run better, why our passing game, you know, why our off, I mean the excuse me, while our um defensive backs are being hung out to dry because of the fact that you know, they're being you know, they're being exposed because of a lack of a pass rush half the time. Right now, our run defense is ranked number 19th in the league. We gave, or we are giving up 106 yards a game. You know, I mean, that's, I mean, that's, I'm, excuse me, we're giving up 112 yards a game. We're giving up 106 in the last three yards, in the last three games. So, yes, Leonard Williams, who wants 14 to $15 million, has helped our run defense by six yards in average. By six yards, he has helped our run defense in the last three games. So is that worth $14 million or $15 million? No, it's not. We could take that money and better use it on the offensive line or on the defensive line where we may even be able to get a pass rusher. I made a comment also the other day that Shane Ray – who's out of the league this year with the wrist injury, who was cut by Denver, um, had, I believe, 19 sacks at the same time frame that Leonard Williams had 17. So that means we should just turn around and give $15 million to Shane Ray. I mean, if we're talking statistically that there is a six-yard difference between our 2009 av- 2019 average with Leonard Williams on the team, that's that's not worth the money that he wants or the money he's asking for. He's not Aaron Donald. He's not close to Aaron Donald. You would be paying. You would be making an Aaron Pierce contract where, like, when they signed him, they signed him off potential. Ernie, of course, he looked at Aaron Pierce and said he had part part of a good season in Washington. We are giving him this big payday off potential not off his statistics. But the problem is Leonard Williams has a much larger body of work that we can go off of. And the body of work shows that he's not going to get to the quarterback that often. He's not, and this is all statistically proven, he is not going to be making the tackles behind the line of scrimmage. A lot, most of his tackles are assists and not solo tackles. He's got 133 to 128, which to me, like I said, a lot of times what they call it in the NFL is that's a pile on stat. He just he's on the pile after the tackle is made. I, I just can't see paying someone $19 million a year, $10 million, I mean even $15 million or $10 million a year when you're improving our run defense over the last three games by three yards, you're not getting tackles behind the line, and you're not getting the sacks. So, I mean, you could call me crazy, but I don't see that. He is nowhere near Aaron Donald in reference to activity, in reference to sacks, 
in reference to just overall play. Maybe Leonard Williams is a five, six million, seven million dollar a year player. I would, if he took seven million dollars a year, I would be fine with that. I think that he's going to go out onto the open market and be in for a shock. That he is, Leonard Williams is going to turn around and be like, oh my God, what did I just get myself into? I made these crazy demands and no one's going to pay me because I don't see it. You're the number six overall pick in the 2015 draft. That's great and all, but you got 17 sacks <laughs> career wise. I, I, I'm just not seeing it. You're not making the plays behind the line of scrimmage and you're not initiating the contact on the solo tackle. So you are not worth that money. Leonard, I'm sorry. We can take that money and, like I said, we could put it to use a lot better places. It, it, it is something that I think with Ernie Corsi that I – mean, Ernie Corsi, I should say, I think with Dave Gettleman that he made an error. I think the thing with getting Leonard Williams was he was afraid that Dexter Lawrence was not creating the interior penetration that he thought he would create after he drafted him. And so that's why he went Leonard Williams. I think that's plain and simple. I mean, Lawrence is playing the run extremely well. He's just not getting penetration, and that's why they picked up Leonard Williams. Plain and simple. I mean, you could agree with me or disagree with me on that, but it's pretty plain and simple. So at the end of the day, do I think he's worth the money? Hell no. Let's give that money to someone else. Let's go find someone else that can help our defense. Let's go get a linebacker. I know that's crazy. Let's get an edge rusher in the draft, sign a linebacker or two, and get this defense back on the road. Again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. We are going to have a big wrap-up show after the Eagle game. hope you'll uh, tune in for us. And again, um, let's finish out this season strong, and let's do what we do.